Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff with the Collector Car Network. That's AutoHunter.com, ClassicCars.com, and The Journal. And we are here with Bear Jackson at the 2022 Las Vegas Auctions. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at this absolutely wild Mustang. This is a 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback that is also known as Mustang Magic. Now, this car was originally built by Eddie Paul in the late 1970s, and it's quite an interesting car. As you can see, it has a bunch of influences from a, a bunch of different spaces. This car has about 11 different Can-Am style uh, references on it, including intakes and all sorts of uh, aerodynamic types of builds to it. Now, this car in general has been widened about 12 inches from the original factory body with everything on the car being done in steel except for the hood. The hood is actually fiberglass. So that is the one piece and it's a Shelby inspired hood that is not done in steel. But you can just see the radical parts that have been changed on it. This is Mustang has been changed a lot. There are some interesting components. A lot of that has been done by scratch or by hand. But the rear quarter panels are actually uh, another Mustang quarter panel that was placed over top and then the rest of it was hand worked in uh, using your traditional metal tools such as like the dolly and everything like that just to get everything in line normally. Now taking a look at the engine here, this is in fact your typical Ford 289 that you might find in any other Mustang, but this has been upgraded. There are some also all sorts of performance parts including some electronic ignitions, there are some good stuff as far as uh, camshafts and things like that that have produced the current output to about 276 horsepower um, along with uh, 6,000 RPM, about 248 foot-pounds of torque. So moving along the side here, you can see how it gets wide here. Uh, obviously the wheels have to be upgraded to with keep base with the wide body. So these wheels are in fact definitely wider than stock. And as you come to the rear, we have our first sort of Can-Am intake and this big vent that sticks out the side here. This vehicle does have a three-speed automatic transmission, but it does have all sorts of gauges added, sort of with the intention of expecting the vehicle to be participating in racing. Now, as we come back to the exterior, one of the interesting parts, when you're looking at this red, if you're wondering if the red maybe looks a little bit familiar, this is in fact Porsche Indian Red, or at one time in the earlier stages of Porsche, this was also known as Guards Red before they made the transition. Now, it does have these really cool yellow and orange pinstripings that I think look really good and just kind of remind you of the era of when the car was built. Now, of course, we have some more intakes and ducts, and like I said, this quarter panel right here is actually another 64th quarter panel that was placed on the car and then built over. And of course, you can see how deep these wheels are just to again represent how much wider the car now is if you start spinning around this way you can even see that the rear has now changed a lot as well you'll notice we have some more of our can-am style ducks on the car we of course have our nice ford mustang fastback sloping back and then of course you'll notice these are not your typical mustang taillights either the car has changed in the rear as well and so just everything about the car is trying to be as extreme as possible in terms of changing the car up and just building it with quite the different in, in look essentially for everything. I think this is about as powerful as you get when it comes to making an expression for your Mustang, including using all the right parts like using the Recaro racing seats for the car. I should point out this car was also mentioned in several different magazines and obviously very important in Mustang culture. It's published in at least a dozen magazines, Joseph. All of that's going to be included with the purchase of the vehicle. And as a bonus, Eddie also signed the car between the gas filler and the right tail light before applying clear coat during its final restoration. Have a look here again, ladies and gentlemen. 1965 Ford Mustang Custom Eddie Paul Mustang Magic Fastback. All right, Eddie, I've got it right there. 30, 40, and 40,000. Not even halfway there, folks. Folks, this is, this is an incredible opportunity. I can't keep telling you the same thing, but in this particular case, I'm going to try one more time. This car was built in the late 70s. It's known as Mustang Magic. Eddie Paul is a legend. Anybody growing up in that era, era knows that car, me included. This is an opportunity to buy Mustang hot rodding history right there. Don't miss it. And 55,000 on it. And 55,000 on it. And 52 to get down five and a half. So congratulations. Another piece of Mustang and hot rod history and going to a great home. Thank you. 
go ahead and like the video if you guys like the video and throw a comment down below of what you think of this car this is definitely not your typical build that you would see and especially it's cool to see something like this which was recently refurbished in 2007 back to how it was built in the 1970s so super interesting but make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future content from us and if you're interested in purchasing a vehicle for yourself be sure to check out autohunter.com for our online auctions or classiccars.com which currently has over 35,000 vehicles on our online marketplace thank you so much for watching